What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are here at the skate park and we are working on how to become more fearless and confident in your skate sessions. And this is something that can be really scary and intimidating, but I'm gonna show you guys how to break through and do things that you guys might not thought was possible before. So I have some things that I wanna accomplish today. There's this big drop that I wanna skate. I just wanna be able to ollie off of it and just get more comfortable with that. But we're gonna break it into pieces and we're gonna level our way up. And the first thing is, is to just get a good night's sleep and just to eat breakfast and just have something in your body. You know, you gotta put fuel in your body to get an output and do amazing things. So don't neglect something as simple as that and you guys already know. But I think we're gonna start with like a warm up and just some chill stuff for a little and then we'll go into just trying to break through some stuff so let's do it this is what we're gonna warm up on it's kind of like a two foot drop it's like up to my knee here so it's pretty decently sized but um I'm gonna try to get comfortable with all these 180s and just warm up with just some simple stuff like that for now and then we're gonna take it up to the bigger drop over there so let's see what we can do I think a big thing in trying to become more fearless and progress faster is try to set goals for yourself. Try to have realistic goals that you can smash through because if you kind of just skate without any direction, like no things to like work on, then you're kind of just skating without direction, you know? But I have a small goal for myself, you know? I'm gonna try to ollie this and then take it up to the bigger one. And that small goal just makes me a little bit more confident, a little more, a little more courageous to try something that's difficult and hard. And it just, it makes me feel good, so. So what I'm doing here is breaking it down into like bite-sized pieces. If I try to just attack the big thing all at once, that's how you'll probably get overwhelmed and you might even get hurt. So I'm doing it small. I'm trying to even just roll off. Like I know I can ollie off this, but I just wanna roll off, get comfortable with just like making sure that my board is leveled. I can know where the ground is when I land and stuff. And just like feeling those small things out. So that way when I take it to the bigger drop, I know what I'm prepared for, you know, and it's just gonna make things a lot easier, so. It takes work, it takes practice, you know? It's not easy. People think like skaters just do it easy, like it's nothing, but you know, they went through this, like a lot of skaters don't show the progression. So that's what I try to break through and show you guys the progression of how to get it done. So let's do it. All right, break time, break time. Break time successful. Let's do it. That happens sometimes, you know? Just get back up, try again, be prepared for anything. Have protective gear, I'm wearing elbow pads under this, you can't see it. I'm wearing a helmet right now, you can't see it. But be prepared, it happens. You guys see how I'm not just doing it one time, like I'm doing it as many times as I can to feel as confident as I can on this so I can be fearless on it on the next obstacle. So just make sure you're comfortable with this. Make sure you've broken this down and you can do it land every single time and that's what's gonna make you fearless. I've done at least a hundred ollies on this small drop and that's what it takes you know a lot of people just try and send it on the big stuff and that's what gets you hurt so 
put in the reps, you know, don't neglect having consistent practice, having the confident feeling of just being able to do it over and over again. And that's what's gonna take it to the next level. But we're gonna level it up here. We're gonna take it to this bank kind of drop thing. So it's like an ollie into a bank. This might be even a little scarier than just a four foot flat, but we're gonna try, we're gonna try. Yes. We're gonna start here just with some roll offs first and then we're gonna work into it just like we did before. So let's do it. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I was being a little scared at first, but then I just told myself, what's the worst that's gonna happen? You know, I might roll my ankle. I'm not gonna die. And that's just the most important thing. So just don't be afraid. Sometimes that first step is the scariest, but just remember that small steps win the race. Break it down into as many pieces as you can that you can manage because that's how you climb a mountain. That's how you achieve big goals by taking small steps. So start small, work your way up. Oh. Another thing is just positive visualization, just seeing yourself doing it perfectly as many times as you can in your head, and that will translate into reality. Don't neglect something as simple as that, just, just seeing it over and over in your head perfectly, landing it, and that will make you more fearless and confident to do it. So, let's do it. it just comes to trusting yourself you know knowing all the practice all the experience that you've gone up until this point that is what will give you the confidence the fearlessness to be able to trust yourself to just land and commit it if you haven't gone through that practice if you haven't gone through the experiences of doing it all small then that's what's going to scare you that's what's going to psych you out because you don't know you don't know what to expect so build up your progression build up your character development this is your story why would you want to skip that you know so work through it progress Let's do it. When things start to get a little scary, just take a step back. Don't push yourself over a wall. That's how you might get hurt. So just take a little step back and come back to it. You know, try to try to push against that by taking a step back and that will help you sling forward past that barrier. And that's how you'll get through this. Come on. Dude, I hit a wall. I'm scared to go on that one again. I don't know why. I think it's because I fell a few times. So I'm gonna just gonna roll off this just a little bit just to get the feeling of just landing the trick again and then maybe I could take it back up to that. I don't know why it's just scary again. Here's something that's helping me right now and it's to think of this obstacle as small think of it as you are bigger than this i'm way bigger than this obstacle i can do this this is supposed to be easy flawless nothing i got this I'm feeling confident. I think I could take it up to this drop now, but we're gonna start easy and then we're gonna work our way up just like we did before. So let's do it. Oh my gosh. 
I just have to put all the things that I talked about today into my practice, my training right here, right now. And just to trust myself, follow through. I built up the experience. I just have to do it. I just have to freaking do it. <laughs> That was so easy. I don't know why that was so scary. I literally just told myself to send it. Like just no going back, just full forward. Don't give up. You did it once. Sometimes it's just the first step. Sometimes the first step is the scariest step, but small steps win the race. Small steps win. Now we just have to work our way up into bigger and bigger ollies. Start small, let's do it. Oh. All good, all good. Oh. Oh. That was the scariest one. feeling good I trust myself I know how to fall off of this I'm comfortable with the drop now I just have to be calm stay safe and just do it guys we did it mission accomplished i ollied this this was a big fear gap for me dude i've been scared to do this for a long time and i'm glad to say that today i finally did it so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video hope the tips i put in this video helped you guys with your progression and motivated you to go out and skate so love you guys take care i'll see you guys in the next one until next time peace out